DeSantis confirms he sent two planes of migrants to Martha's Vineyard on Wednesday without notice, leaving Massachusetts officials scrambling to find them shelter. We fed them and we housed them for tonight. The focus tonight was just, you know, how are we going to make sure these people aren't out on the street? DeSantis has been threatening to do really for, for months now. He has said repeatedly that he is willing to use taxpayer dollars to send these migrants from the border to Democratic jurisdictions. He has said he would send them to the home state of Delaware even if he could. But this is the first time. This is what like good government actually looks like, and this is what compassionate government actually looks like. And I couldn't be prouder of the people of Martha's Vineyard and Cape Cod um, for their incredible work. This is what we're made for. We're made for operationalizing. We've got National Guard. We've got the tools to make folks feel welcome. Sharp contrast to Venezuela, which is where they all came from. Now much of their focus is turning to what lies ahead. It's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Thank God for people that are still compassionate and loving and know what it takes to make America grow. We need to learn how to be patient in America and learn how to heal. We got too many people making decisions and not being respectful about things. First off, these people mm. are individuals. They are humans. They are not dogs. They are not pets. You don't just send them off because you don't feel like dealing with it. And how do you have access to taxpayer money to make these type of decisions? I thought that this kind of stuff had to be voted on and people got to pass um, mm. bills or pass something for it to go. This is why I know that our government is a bunch of big lies. Now on Wednesday, 48 migrants were flown to Martha's Vineyard and dropped off with no notice to state or local officials. Florida paid for those two charter flights. Now for two nights, they were put up in a small temporary shelter on the vineyard, really meant only to be used during the winter. Now the governor, the governor says they're here voluntarily. They're staying in dorm style areas with separate areas for families and children. And this is important, families won't be separated. Ride the ferry back with them. We started obviously on the island. We're back here on the mainland now, but the journey for these migrants started way earlier than this morning. They left the shelter where they had been for the past two nights. They left there early this morning sharing hugs and saying goodbye to the volunteers who will make accommodations at the drop of a hat. A police escort then brought them from the church to the ferry a terminal in the vineyard. And it was at that point that we got to speak with some of this group of migrants, many of whom are young men. In Venezuela se pierde más quedarse que emigrar. O sea, en cualquier momento uno le puede pasar algo. They certainly do have a tradition of a faith community. Pero con la mentalidad firme en que vamos a ser parte de esta sociedad y vamos a tratar de dar buenas costumbres, de sumar.